hello dear students today's topic is tidal hypothesis proposed by sir james jeans and professor herald jeffries sir james jeans given the hypothesis with the name of uh, tidal theory during 1919 Later on it was modified by professor Harold Jeffries during 1926 So today let us discuss about the tidal theory During 1919 it was given by sir James Jeans with the same title tidal theory Later on it has been explained and modified by professor Harold Jeffries in 1926 called as collision theory so let us uh, take the introduction and the explanation about the tidal theory the tidal theory deals with the sun and the another big star and due to these two heavenly bodies how the solar system has been formed firstly by sir james jeans there was some assumptions has uh, been listed it has been assumed that in the space during the very earlier stages there is the sun is the only heavenly body and it is very stagnant and stationary at its own place but it has a rotation rotation means the moving around the body of the heavenly body that is called as a rotation technically it is called as a axis moment the heavenly body which has its own axis and moving around its axis is called as a axis moment or the rotationary moment so the sun in the very primitive stage has been formed with the very uh, alone with the space and moving around its body it was a gaseous mass has been emitting the light because it has a very hotness the temperature it is very high the hot gaseous mass the sun was moving around its body later on a star which is much more bigger than the sun that has been found with the space and that is called as a intruding sun later on this intruding sun has been came nearer to the sun according to james has been telling that the sun was stationary and moving around its body so it has been standing in a same place but nearer to the sun the big star which has been coming nearer to the sun station so when it is moving or coming nearer to the sun due to the heavy mass and the, uh, there is a when there is a high mass the force will be high so when the, there is a very high mass is formed the gravitational force will also be very high so with the uh, intruding star there is a high mass and the gravity both are formed due to the gravitational attraction of the big star or the intruding star the sun has been bulging towards the star this bulging materials are the elements are called as the tide the tide is a name given by the james to the bulging surface of the sun later on when the star has been moving on its own path and going away by the sun the bulge area has been separated by the sun and has start moving uh, and follow the big star this has been happened due to the gravity of the big star when the speed of the star it is very high that is the angular momentum it is very high so the tides are not able to cope up with the star they have been stopped in space and came back to the gravity and the attraction of the sun so in this moment the tides are the filament 
the filament it is a nail or uh, the filament it is a mass has been ejected by the sun uh, that type has been called as a filament by both the scientists so this filament has started to come under the attraction and the gravity of the sun and they start rotating or revolving around the sun so this revolutionary movement which has been started by the tides made the tides to become cool so this cooling process has been made the tides to shrink their size shrink in their size at the same time while they are shrinking condensing this filament has been broken into many parts so this broken parts has been condensified and forms the plants this was the summary given by the sir james james later on the same theory has been modified by the herald jeffries he has been told us that there is a primitive sun that is what we have been seeing the sun at present days the primitive sun was there and there is a companion star was there and the big star has been came due to the attraction and the gravitational force of these stars on each other uh, bodies the collision that is and clashes has been taken place between the primitive sun sun big star and the companion star so this clash has been leads the formation of solar system this was a summary of herald jeffries theory which has called as a collision theory so let us see which are the evidences for the theory or the hypothesis here the james and jeffries have been told that the whole solar system has been formed by the sun and the big star when we see the whole solar system which has been arranged in a straight line they will forms the tidal shape that is in a cigar shape this has been explained by the jeff uh, james that the whole solar system has been formed by the tides which are in a cigar shape so the very smallest planets are situated on the either sides of the solar system and when we are moving from the smallest planets towards the middle part it is bulging and the bigger planets are situated in the middle parts of the solar system this is a first evidence and the number of satellites and the size of the satellites when you see the solar system the smallest planets are having the satellites there is none of uh, satellites that is no satellites for the smallest planets when we are moving towards the bigger planets they are having the high number of satellites so this has been confirmed in the theory and when we see the direction of the movement particularly on the planets they are moving around our sun in a same direction so uh, that is a one point and the axis movement of all planets all the planets are having the axis movement as the james told us that in the beginning sun has its own rotation movement that is axis movement so here all the planets are having the axis movement and they are moving in the same direction and revolving around the sun with the same direction these three points are confirming the theory or they have been considered as the evidences but at the same time it has been encountered by many criticisms the first one both the scholars and the scientists has been failed to explain the source of the big star where the big star has been came from and towards which destiny it has been gone away 
So here the source of the big star has not explained in the theory. Then the second criticism, uh, the scientists, mathematician and the astrologers respectively Levin, Pesky and Razin. Uh, all these three scientists has been encountered the hypothesis that here the distance has not been explained. According to them, this is uh, completely uh, opposite to the law of conservation and the uh, gravitational force. Because according to them, if there is a high mass, the force will be high. So when there is a high force, the gravity is keep on decreasing. So here, the James says that there is a high mass, there is a high force and there is a gravity also be high. So these three scientists have been encountered the hypothesis that it has been failed to explain the distance between the sun and the star as well as the gravitational attraction or the gravitational force. Then the third one they have not explained or not justified about the angular momentum, the speed of the star as well as the sun. According to them, in the very earlier stage, the sun has a rotational moment. Later on, whatever the tides ejected by the sun, they started very slowly moving around the sun. When we see the solar system, all the planets are moving rapidly as compared to the sun. The rotation of the sun, it is slow, uh, but the planets have the high speed of rotation. The last one, the elements which are found on the surface are within the sun and other planets are not matching. The sun has the lighter elements like helium and all, but our planets, as we take the example of Earth, it has been composed up by the silica, aluminium, nickel, these kind of dense elements. So, the elements which are formed with the Earth and other planets are heavier as compared to the uh, elements which are formed with the Sun. The Sun composed by the lighter elements and the Earth has been composed by the heavier elements along with other planets. These are the major criticisms of the theory. Thank you.